In today's health alert, as seasonal viruses make their rounds, people often worry when they spike a fever, especially parents with sick kids. But how does the medical community define a fever and when should we be concerned? Here to answer that, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. So, Doc, what is our normal temperature and then what temp should we start getting worried? Yeah, first of all, you know, nobody likes to get sick, you know, myself included. However, not all fevers are necessarily bad, believe it or not. Now, we often hear that the standard body temperatures, we've heard this, right, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But the truth is that normal body temperature can fall between 96 and 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, your body temperature can fluctuate throughout the day. So the lower end is in the morning and higher in the evening. Other factors such as hot weather and physical activity can affect your body temperature. Plus, if you're a woman, your body temperature slightly increases after ovulation. So what exactly qualifies as a fever? Well, a fever is defined when your body temperature measures 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. It's usually a sign that something may not be right and your immune system has kicked into action. So germs really do not like higher temperatures. So that's why your body releases certain hormones to raise our core temperature to fight these infections. Having said that, I'd like to point out that you can develop a fever without actually being sick. Like, for example, after receiving certain immunization shots, especially common childhood vaccinations. All right, so is, is there a best way to take a temperature, any specific one? Because there are a handful of different choices, right, for that. And then when should we say, okay, it's time to go see a doctor? Yeah, it's important. Right? Brian and I were talking about this. For kids under the age of three, the most accurate method is a rectal thermometer. For older kids and adults, there are several types to choose from, including mouth, ear, and forehead thermometers. We've seen all these. However, it's best to take the temperature under the armpit or in the mouth. And whatever method you choose, stick with it for consistency so you can compare. As for when to see the doctor, right? Any temperature over 100.4 in infants under three months requires immediate medical attention. And if anyone's fever lasts for three days, you should also see a doctor. For older kids, it's not so much always the, the actual number only, but how they're behaving. I recommend seeking a medical, medical attention if a child also appears irritable, lethargic, feels unwell. All those are important or just they're not, they're not acting normal. In adults, a fever accompanied by symptoms such as a bad headache, stiff neck, light sensitivity, chest pain, shortness of breath, confusion, or severe stomach pain should seek medical attention. Remember, having a fever is not always bad, but doesn't mean that you always have a severe illness. Instead, it's more of a signal that your body's defense system is working hard to keep you healthy, so that's important. All right, so just got to be in tune with yourself and then check those numbers. Yeah, sometimes Brian develops a fever when he does the... the, the <laughs> All of those things leg, that you so. were saying, you know, <laughs> not acting normal. I've I seen Bri Brian do the it. skanky leg and he gets uh -huh, a fever. Uh -huh. I've seen well, him. Don't you be posting those videos. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. If you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.